A rumour has it that this owner rejected an offer of $10 million for this car. You won't believe what is in this truck right here. Offloader and then I'll tell you a little bit more. This is the only one in the world. Welcome to the Supercar Blondie channel. <laughs> All right, let's get her off and take a look. You've got the honors, hey? Wow. how loud it is until it yeah. turns off it's very loud. that's mad you guys got a call and this is where we ended up uh, honestly sometimes it blows my mind what you're looking at guys is the only tuned Ferrari Enzo by Gambala in the world the founder of Gambala Uwe Gambala passed away 10 years ago now his son has come into the picture Mark and has founded a whole new company it's called MP Gambala and they are now launching a whole new Gambala car so this company still exists as you can see it looks pretty different to the original why because they've replaced the whole body the whole body is different to an original ferrari enzo you can see here they've also got these louvers running up the side new wheels here this car was designed for the middle east so to tackle the heat they put this roof scoop on there's a little reverse camera here that is not in the original ferrari enzo because you can't see out the back as well this whole wing has been replaced the back looks completely different. It's got 50 horsepower more than a Ferrari Enzo. Let's take a look inside. These letters here, the owner's initials, the initial of the founder of the company and number one, the first one ever made. Okay, we've got to keep all this plastic on because it needs to be kept in mint condition. It's so special. Look, all of this has been added. This infotainment screen here, that will show you the picture from the reverse camera. It's got a whole new sound system and all of this has been replaced as well. These seats are completely new. It's not just like they've put new fabric on top of the old seats. Everything about this car has been changed. You've actually bought a Ferrari Enzo, but you're looking at a Gambala emblem on your steering wheel. A rumor has it that this owner rejected an offer of $10 million for this car. The standard Ferrari Enzo has an average value of over $3 million. These cars are all about what someone is willing to pay. So whatever the owner wants to accept for this baby is basically what this car is worth. step over that mound of sand over there if I can manage and step into another Gambala and it's called the Mirage GT it's actually a souped up Carrera GT Will be 
brown within minutes. Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go, guys. All right, so um, that car is not the only car that Gambala has tuned. These ones behind us are also tuned by Gambala. <laughs> came out on the market at the time it was the most expensive Porsche ever around four hundred and fifty thousand dollars but then if you wanted to get one from Gambala and all the bits and bobs that they do to it it would cost you a few hundred thousand dollars more right so this one for example was sold to the buyer back then at seven hundred and fifty thousand euros so that's a good few hundred thousand dollars or more to get kitted out by Gambala the whole lip the whole front of the car has been changed you've got these headlight details here and also the whole hood here has been completely uh, revamped redesigned you've got this Gambala sign here on the front instead of the Porsche you've got new wheels you've got this carbon fiber door here this is on this specific one because they're all different and then take a look at this roof scoop straight into the engine now what's cool is it is still convertible. Even with this roof uh, scoop added, you can still take the roof off. You can see here the kind of the split that goes down. Then you've got a whole new wing. You've got the exhaust system. This as standard comes with around 612 horsepower. Now it's got 670 horsepower. It also goes quicker, zero to 60. Standard is 3.9 seconds. This one, 3.7. I have actually been offered to drive this car and I've never driven a Carrera GT before so that is pretty cool but for the first time ever I'm having to decline the offer because I just don't have time I've got to get to my next shoot which is crazy right but we're gonna turn her on so we can at least hear her right okay I'm gonna move this forward so I can uh, reach the pedals <laughs> Right, these cars were only made in manual. So you've got a six speed manual uh, gearbox and look how close this gear stick is to the wheel. And that was designed this way specifically for racing. So you've got everything very tight together. This is the key. So you've even got matching colors on your key to the outside of your car, which is cool. Okay. Ready? Alright, okay, I think that's it. Our fun is over. Can you turn around? Okay, I hope you guys like the video. Give us a quick thumbs up, subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family if you haven't yet. I would love to have you with us. Massive thank you to Mark for inviting us down here today to take a look at these incredible cars and to the owner of this car. All right guys, love ya, we're out.